Hello everyone and welcome back to Shonen Archive. I'm Wokey and I am once again joined by Zenrot this time. Hello. And this is Shonen Archive, a series in which me and Zen watch absolutely every Shonen Jump uh, anime known to mankind. Eventually, we will get there until either One the of universe... These days, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> Yes, exactly. And one of these days, we will loop around and I'll actually have another episode of One Piece Red, well, this time with Zenrod in it, <laughs> when we get to One Piece. <laughs> um, so yes, that's the show, and we're here today to talk about Chainsaw Man. Yeah, hopefully, if I'm assuming people have seen the uh, emergency state of play of Gintama to assume why we have been on a Chainsaw Man kick, but hey... Thank God the chance and all. It's so much easier to cover something that releases like an episode a week. <laughs> There's not like a huge hundred episode backlog. Yeah, it is nice. That we're, it's not quite as daunting, you know? Yes, it is. It's a it's a very different type of beast. So it makes me feel like we're able to tackle it on head on. So that's going to be today's video. And we actually think there's a lot of people who are actually watching this. So we thank you very much. Just remember to also leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. I, you, I mainly say that for the fucking YouTube algorithm so it doesn't destroy my channel. <laughs> see it more. See it more as a tax to keep me in to keep me in business. <laughs> Otherwise, I would never ask for it, and I don't care. But fucking YouTube is the way it is. Anyway, let's get right into the good stuff. Zen, we're here to talk about episodes five and six of Chainsaw Man, and episode five is titled "Gun Devil." Very succinct <laughs> title in this one. <laughs> Tell us what so it's about. So episode 5 of uh, Chainsaw Man, Denji gets to feel up power and he uh, finds <laughs> himself disappointed. He doesn't think that it was all that good. It wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Um, has a, a life crisis. His life comes yeah, tumbling he has a, he has down. A crisis. <laughs> <laughs> to the point that he's like not eating. <laughs> he's like <laughs> devastated. <laughs> Doesn't, fi doesn't find the reason to live anymore. Yeah, he's got no no interest in living. He's um, like Patchy the Pirate when he saw the lost episode of Spongebob. <laughs> he, uh, he's like filling out paperwork and Makima starts coming on to him and he's and like manipulating him basically with promises of uh, improved sex. Mm -hmm. Um... Then she fucking collapses out of his chair when she does, which is really funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he and then awakens we get again. Some, some Aki backstory. We learn about like his uh, past with his family, where they were all killed in the Gun Devil attack, including his younger brother, because his younger brother went home uh, to get something like right at the last minute, and then the Gun Devil's blast destroyed their house. Um, and then Makimus. We're back in the present, and Mikey was talking about how the gun devil bits kind of like instinctively go toward one another, so you can use them to track devils and stuff, because devils will eat them to try to get stronger. Um, we get like a little cut away of them killing a devil. I'm pretty sure it's the fish devil. Something funny and not that dangerous <laughs> devil. But um, someone's terrified of it. <laughs> Absolutely yes. terrified of that fish. <laughs> um, and they're fighting that one. And they find that it has a piece of the gun devil inside of it, um, which obviously is a big deal. Mm. And then uh, we get a new mission for the public safety department, which is a, a supposed devil inside of a hotel. Um, they think this one might have some gun devil bits in it, so they all go along together. And it's Denji, Power, Aki, and three new characters, which are uh, Himeno... Kobeni and All right. the guy. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this guy, no one's standing him like the rest. <laughs> this is this, this is that kid. This is like the fifth member of like the Backstreet Boys, the one that people go, "Oh yeah, that one." <laughs> no, yeah, no. just the guy or whatever. Yeah, um, but apparently his name is Arai. That's why also probably it's a little bit hard to remember his name because it also starts with A. And usually when two characters share the similar name, you're going to remember Aki's name, not his. Yeah. And then um, we get a scene of them all out in, like, a parking lot. Um, and they're talking about going into the hotel, and Jimeno's like, I'll give whoever kills the devil in there a kiss on the cheek. 
And at first, Denji gets all excited, but then he's like, ah, "I'm I'm a bigger man than that now. I don't I don't need that anymore." <laughs> I've grown. Um, yeah, and then she's like, "All right, well then I'll kiss you and with tongue." And he's like, "All right, I'm in. I'm in." There. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm back in. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm in there. Uh, so he jumps at the chance, obviously, and says that uh, he's gonna kill the devil to get the French kiss. And then we get some some backstory on. Um, Aki and Himeno, that they're like partners and they've been together for a while and they're kind of talking about if they think the new recruits are going to be any good or not. Um, and we get some more, you know, any everyone who joins this either dies or leaves within a year, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, we see a flashback of Himeno at her partner's grave with uh, Aki being introduced as the new partner. We find a tiny little devil inside the hotel that tries to attack everyone, and Himeno and Power enthusiastically kill it together. Um, and then they they start trying to climb the stairs and slowly realize that no matter what they do, they cannot get off the eighth floor of the hotel. And they think at this at this point is no Denji is this when Denji starts blaming Power, saying maybe it was her fault because she killed the head, and now we're stuck in here. I I believe that might be the beginning of the next one, but okay. it it's one of the two. Yeah, it's either the beginning of the next one or the end of this one. But the I'm pretty sure end of it. I'm pretty sure the end of this one is the reveal that uh, they're stuck on the eighth floor, and then it just ends right there. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then there's also the uh, Kobeni ending, which is the fucking weird mirror multiple <laughs> ending. Yes, the the We're... ED for this one is pretty good. All of yes. the EDs are good, but the two for the um for the hotel arc so far have been really good. Yeah, this one's great because I was like, holy shit, she's doing the the <laughs> she's doing like Super Super Mario when he gets the why did I call him by his first name Mario <laughs> when he grabs the star Mario, comma super. Yeah, of course. Uh, he had to change it when he came over on Ellis Island, as most immigrants did at the time, Zen. But yeah, <laughs> when he grabs the star and turns the rainbow, that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> uh, yes. So, my thoughts on this one. I For a brief moment, it reminded me... I was really glad that we got... I let, You know that thing when like you perk up and you hear a name? That's what I felt like when I heard Gun Devil. Because it brought me back to the reveal of Gun Devil. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Gun Devil? That name. <laughs> that name. That's a, What's... Name. That's a powerful name. Who would be the most powerful devil? What's the thing people are most scared of in America? Gun. Yeah, just gun. Gun, and it's extremely powerful. This is... I don't know if he did... With a lot of things, you might actually be able to know this a little bit more. I don't know if he knew a lot about America, or he knew just enough to make Gun Devil make the most sense in the world. He's like, oh yeah, if it's driven by pure fear, then this thing has to be the strongest fucking devil in the yeah, world. Yeah, it's just gotta be the fucking Gun Devil. So I was happy to kind of hear the name of it. It reminded me of a scene later that was going to show up, but for a brief moment I was like, oh, does this one, this scene happens? I was like, oh, no, 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 that, that that's a little bit later. That the, the scene I was thinking is when they reveal what Gun Devil looks like. <laughs> so can't wait for that. Was happy to hear about him. I like the beginning here where it's like Denji, where he has like this crisis of, this is the first time where he's experienced something. Obviously after he ate all the bread, he was super happy. Bread on his checklist was everything he could ever dream of and more with like condiments on it. But somehow it was the boob touch was the one where he's like, I don't get the hype. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. He was, he was very disappointed that that was all it was. Yeah. And he Which was is like, funny. it is very funny. Cause it's like, <laughs> it's like a crisis you'd ever think about. It's like, what if someone hypes something up so much in their head that they're like, when it happens, he's like, I, I just don't get it. Why did they even want this? This seems un- unnatural. And he even gets, like, good three squeezes in. Even if the first one was through <laughs> with pads. That's still with pads. I would still consider that a fantastic touch. But he gets three good ones in, and then she kind of moves off. She says, like, she's using, like, a real bonding moment of, like, buddy-buddy. Like, hey, you really lucked out here, guy. Let's go. And she leaves with her cat, which I thought was really funny how she was just like, hey, we really yeah, had to. She just some- walks out. She's like, all right, meowie. <laughs> She, she, yeah, she kind of acts a little <laughs> bit like, you know when Beetlejuice is trying to get in touch with the 
with the ghost students trying to pretend to be like, hey, hey, buddy, come over here. We would <laughs> look at this. We dress the exact same. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what Power's doing here with Denji. It's like, hey, you got to feel. I got to feel. You know what I'm saying? All right. Then. Come on, Meowie. Let's get out of here. Let's go find some books. That's, that's borderline what she's doing here, which was really funny. His crisis of it not being as good was also very well done. It almost felt like he would have had a breakthrough if he wasn't being manipulated. <laughs> by uh, Makima right there. Yeah, at the like end. he was right there, and he didn't quite get there. Yeah, he was like so close to a breakthrough of some kind. Because Denji is an idiot, but he's also an idiot, an understandable idiot, because he literally has no. He had nothing. He had no. He had like a little chainsaw dog. That was his only form of like learning from someone else was that dog. So he really has nothing going on here. So it felt like he would have been close to some kind of a breakthrough. At least tried to work it out in his head. But then, of course, he gets manipulated a little bit into kind of going after the uh, the gun devil, um, which I thought was actually very well done. That scene also is very well done where she's like, they really like caress the fingers to make it seem like, oh, you just got to have to actually care about the person. And he's like, uh-huh. I have to care about the boobs. I, I have to care about what's attached to them. I, I think I understand. <laughs> Deep lessons here. Yeah, absolutely deep lessons, which he goes on to continue on with the public safety, uh, which is also funny when in the beginning he's like thinking about, he's like, I don't, you know what? I don't think the kiss will matter that much if I don't care about him. I don't even know your name. No, thank you, woman. (laughs) Harpy, be away from me. Yeah, he's like, I don't need you. (laughs) Exactly. I got something else in mind after I kill the gun devil. I'm good. And then I also, I think the one funny, the one good thing that this other guy does is when he learns that he's, it's going to be at its tongue, he's like, whatever, I don't want that kiss, but if it's to prevent you, then I will gladly go for it, when he clearly just also wants it at the same time. He just wants the kiss also, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, he's just not as uh, willing to go for it. So it was a good introduction to the team. I like the dim- dynamic they're going on here. I also, this might also be because before I watched this episode, I watched that edit of Kobeni with a coward, Courage the Cowardly Dog. So every That's single... so funny. I was, love that. So good. So just seeing her super timid and then also her... <laughs> watching these two episodes, remembering that Jimeno said that, like, oh yeah, she has the skills. And then you watch <laughs> these two episodes and you're well wondering, what skills? <laughs> Yeah, what fucking skills are you talking about? Yeah, what? What, what did you see in her that I not fully understand it, but the, she is freaking out pretty good. So I liked uh, seeing that as well. And also how much they were just clearly fucking with her. Like in the beginning of this one, they're messing with her. And I think in I think it's the beginning of the next the beginning of the next one when they tell her, like, put up two peace signs and stand right here. And she goes, what? <laughs> she's like constantly scared. Trying yeah, to she's having like a breakdown. Yeah, she's always on the cusp of a nervous breakdown of some kind. Which, to be fair, if you were actually legitimately in this job and you did not want to be in it, I would also be in a constant state of nervous breakdown. Yeah, it's hard to uh, for it to be anything else. Yes, that's what I would imagine. Unless you have some kind of death wish or a, a, a wish to kill someone else, it's very hard to imagine doing this job. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. What do you think, Zen? Really good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, of this whole little mini bit, the whole um, gun devil beginning to chase arc kind of thing mm. is uh, really good. I really like Jimeno as a character as well, and I think the anime is doing her pretty well. Mm-hmm. I would agree um, with that. Uh, yeah, at, <laughs> at any point, did you go... Here's a new segment that I'm going to do specifically for Chainsaw Man now called Did This Remind You of Naruto? (laughs) Which is the (laughs) ultimate segment for people who really want ammunition to say this show is just basically a copy of Naruto. (laughs) Did you have any Naruto feelings when they showed showed Aki's backstory of being Itachi in reverse? <laughs> uh no, I didn't. I no, didn't. Uh-huh. no, 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 whatsoever. How about when they showed those <laughs> cro- Sasuke when he was like, uh, "I, I'm not like them. I have ambition." <laughs> there, there's a little Sasuke in there if you're desperate. If you're desperate for sure. How about Zen? Now hear me out. I'm pretty sure Naruto invented this. What about when they showed all those graves and there were crows, <laughs> just like a <Itachi? laughs> 
I'm pretty, yeah, crows were fictional and made up for Itachi, right? <laughs> exactly. And their meaning, of course, which is to be the bullshit in which Itachi is able to do things. <laughs> That's what the crows symbolize, I believe. That's what's deep baked deep into uh, Japanese culture. And obviously, I only thought of that because I always think of that thanks to Naruto fans constantly comparing. But there was something I actually wanted to bring up. Do you think there's something in Japanese lore related to eating demon parts? Because this is also something that happens in Jujutsu Kaisen, isn't it? Uh, yes. With the Sukuna finger. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would assume there is, yeah. Because doesn't that happen in uh, yeah. Demon Slayer as well? Yeah, it does. It actually got me a little bit curious going like... E okay, either all three of these dudes were in the same room and all said, <laughs> one of them said out loud their idea that all of them kind of wrote it down, or more likely there's actually some kind of mythology going around it. Because it actually got me wondering, it was like, yeah, it, one between two different series, that's a, just a funny coincidence. When there's this many, there has to be something baked into the actual mythology that explains it. So I was actually kind of curious on that if you knew. I remember I think you were planning on doing a video talking about, like, the demon mythologies, but I didn't know how far into the research you had gone into it. Uh, only about Sukuna specifically, not about, mm -hmm. like, any deeper lore there. All right, got gotcha. you. All right. Something, something, the, you know, if you have the answer for everybody to tell us, maybe I'll look into it and see there. Because it is actually kind of interesting that all three big demon-related things in Shonen Jump all have something to do with eating parts of another demon. It's very interesting. But let's move on to the next episode. Zen, episode six, Kill Denji. <laughs> so episode six, uh, we figure out that we're stuck on the floor. Uh, can't get out. And uh, we look in and notice that inside the rooms, the, the other side of the window is just more rooms. So it's not like the window leads outside either. Mm -hmm. Um they're trying to kind of try and investigate a way out, and a, they just assume that it must be the devil's power. Kobeni starts to break down, saying they're all going to starve to death because they can't escape, and then Power starts laughing and like flops on the bed, which is a pretty good scene. <laughs> um, it was. In this case, she puts would be together the, that they're probably the not getting rescued, based on the way that the demon's power works. So they need to figure a way out on their own. Um. <laughs> They figured out that everything in the hotel still works. Uh, the water and the electricity and stuff like that. Uh, Power goes on her fantastic speech about how she's going to <laughs> get a Nobel Peace Prize, and then that is going to be what she uses to become prime minister and institute a 100% sales tax. <laughs> uh, and him and she's I was like, we're really worried about her. And then she's like, no, that's just, that's, she she's does that always like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The very, like, the, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Had no idea. Just met her today. Very interesting. We get uh, some more flashback on um, Aki and Himeno, where we learn that Himeno gave Aki his smoking habit, because he originally refused, because it's bad for your bones. <laughs> um very i had no idea i thought it was because it kills you i didn't know it was because it was bad for your bones as well apparently it's bad for your bones i um, had no idea learn something new every day <laughs> then they discover that the devil is getting bigger the little one that they killed um it's like a big old mound of of gunk now um aki realizes that he can't summon the fox devil because they're in like a little pocket isolated dimension kind of thing mm -hmm. Um, Himeno attacks it with the ghost devil, but that just makes it grow more. And he says that um, the only way he'll let them out is if they let him have Denji. And if he lets them, if they let him eat Denji, he will let them all go. And that's a contract. Yeah, and it's a it's a contract. So like, it's a, he has to honor it if he does. Um, Kobeni immediately is like, yes, murder Denji <laughs> now. <laughs> Uh, Power is also like, yeah, okay. I need to get my Nobel Peace Prize, and I can't do that in here. <laughs> um, and then Aki says that he'll use the sword that he has on the back, but Himeno says no, and we get some lore that the sword is a devil power, where every time Aki uses it, he has to give up uh, several years of his life to do so. Um... We we all they like decide that they have to kill Denji because they run out of options, 
and Kobeni tries to stab him after everyone tackles him down. And then Aki jumps in the way and gets stabbed at the last minute for him to protect him. Um, power stops uh, Aki's bleeding with her powers while Denji decides that he's going to let the devil eat him, but uh, he's going to fight. And so he jumps down, pulls his ripcord, and then he gets uh, eaten right as the episode ends. Yeah, and a real cool shot, too, because as he gets eaten, he's like consumed by the infinite because this is the eternity devil. Mm-hmm. And inside of his mouth, they show like there's an infinity uh, sign inside of him. So he's like jumping directly into it, which I thought was <laughs> rad to look at. And yeah, that's the the end of this one. And then we also get the ED in this one, which is also very good. Just continuing. I know it's an impossible ask, but it is really cool to have different EDs for each episode. <laughs> I know. It's insane that they did that. Yeah, it's such a good thing. That was like the reason why the others don't do it is because that has to be just pure murder to animate for each one individually. Like uh, making one really good OP and ED takes a lot of time, but you could always use the justification. Well, we're gonna use it for this many episodes, and it kills this much time. That's great. To actually go out of your way and say a new ED for each one isn't <laughs> adding a lot more time. Probably, probably is. Yeah. Yeah. But, hey, well done. Ho- hopefully those animators sleep eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking crazy. It's mm-hmm. awesome. It is. So, what I like about this one, there's a really funny moment where after Power says she's going to kill Denji, and he goes, no. And basically, Aki shuts it down and says, no one, no. We're, uh, I know, okay, everyone, I know it'd be really easy. Just kill Denji, but we're here to kill devils, not <laughs> make deals with devils. And then Power goes, ah, okay. You want to wrestle? And then he goes like, dude, you just tried to kill me. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you right now. Yeah. He's like, no. No. <laughs> Which is funny. Um, there's a really funny shot of... I think it's when um, uh, the dude is talking and he's talking about like... He's yelling at Power because Power is eating all the food. And Power b- b- blames it on Denji for some reason. <laughs> because she, she, like, wants the, she wants them to kill Denji. Yes, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So she eats all the food, and in the background as he's yelling and they're talking about potentially killing uh, uh, Denji, Kobeni just, like, comically is in the back slowly entering frame. Yeah, around the corner of the wall. <laughs> really funny, she's just, like, on the corner of the wall, <laughs> slowly <laughs> coming into frame. <laughs> Which is really funny. I like the beginning bit with Kobeni as well. Where they're like, there's apparently of uh, people who like the second she started talking, they're like, "Oh man, I'm anti." Now that the woman speaks, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm yeah, not into this any sound. No. <laughs> now that the character that has been depicted as a coward in every single fan art that's ever been drawn of her is making cowardly sounds, I'm not into this anymore. <laughs> But I really enjoyed all of that stuff and also how much they mess with her. And it feels like the characters aren't doing it on purpose. It just feels like the creator was like, this would just be really funny if they fucked with her. And they didn't really do it on purpose. Like when they ask her to, well, the one time they do do it on purpose is when she's like, all right, I want you to stand in front of this door, hold up double peace signs, and I'll be right back. Just stand right there. And <laughs> just kind of stands there holding double peace for no reason. And then later on, whenever they're, like, trying to check something, they always tell her, I need you to be the one to stand right there. If Kobeni, I could be right back. And she just is immediately, like, courage, like, oh, oy, 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 oy. extremely terrified about the prospect of sitting <laughs> sitting completely still. Um, all that stuff was great. Um, I like the kind of introducing. I thought this was a good way to introduce that devils can't lie. And specifically when it comes to contracts, that they have to fulfill it. And it's a really good idea to get to know that. Um, because the contract stuff does end up being very important. And honestly, it could be a little bit mind-breaking. Because you could think like, hey, yeah, why do devils make any contract if they could just very easily... There has to be some form of like consequence to it for breaking it on both sides. So I like the way they introduced it here. Uh, I like Denji's endgame plan, which is if I hurt it enough, it will just want to kill itself and won't yeah, want to live anymore. Literally, uh, I, I, it got it screamed in pain when you heard it earlier, so I'm going to hurt it really bad until it wants to kill itself. <laughs> which is like, you know what? He's got a good fucking point here. I, I actually... <laughs> putting that noggin to use. 
It is. It's it's a really good fucking plan. It's what uh it's actually legitimately an ancient like god story, which is of uh Sharon the Ch- Ch- no, is it Charon or Sharon? The Sharon, centaur who like was that. a god who was poisoned by the um, poison of the Hydra that was on Heracles' bow. It hurts so much that he had to beg the gods to remove his divinity and let him die. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that is an actually legitimate scare strategy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a great one, the way he came up with it. I liked Aki's reasoning for helping out Denji, stopping him from dying. He's like, the reason I didn't, I, he can't die is that he wants to kill the gun devil. And I can't do it alone. Like, he's not thinking it in the case of, like, of a character. who, Which most character, anime characters think of, like, if I'm going to be taking this guy, I'm going to take him down individually. In my new segment, of course, uh, does this remind you of Naruto? You might remember Sasuke. He thinks he can take down all of Itachi by himself. But this is an anti Naruto moment. Then he knows yeah, he can't. Is, yeah, this is the only two possible moments are Naruto moments or <laughs> intentionally not Naruto moments. Exactly. So this is obviously yeah. He wanted to. He saw what Sasuke would have done, and he was like, "I'm gonna have to flip the script." He 100 genius move, honestly, because so many people go the easy route, which is just doing what Naruto <laughs> did. <laughs> which is why we get so many Naruto clothes out there. But then he looked at it from the opposite side, where he's like, "I." can't do this alone i'm one guy the gun devil killed like three million people in two seconds i can't do that (laughs) i i I can't do this alone i need people to fight the gun devil and i also need them to be fucking crazy and this idiot is both of those things i can't let him die yeah i like it too that it's not like a he's my friend thing it's i I need him to kill this thing and that's all i give a shit about 100% 100% and I think it makes a lot of sense because yeah as far as we've been depicted in this uh, in the anime so far there's not really any sense of friendship it really does feel like kind of like a pet situation or of a hostage situation I f- we forgot to mention it but it was really funny when they started shit talking him in the previous episode and they were like whatever you think we can respect you and then he shows it, like two pieces of gum and they're immediately like ah senpai Thank you. <laughs> we listen. And they were, like, immediately calmed down by, like, two pieces of gum. Yeah, the, and then they're, like, we're proud of themselves. Like, ha we got the gum. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's too easy. <laughs> Complete idiots. So I kind of liked that uh, reasoning behind it, because it does make a lot of sense. And from what we've seen of Gun Devil, he's 100% right. He can't do it alone, and he needs someone crazy and stupid enough. And Denji is, thankfully, two of those things. So I thought this episode was great in a lot of setup. Like you said, this is like a little tiny arc, and I think it's doing a lot to show the dynamics of these characters so far. And of the characters introduced so far, I'm actually enjoying learning more about them. Like Jimeno, which we haven't mentioned a whole bunch, but I really like her backstory. I like how she kind of has been viewing her job, which is that she used to see it as if they died on her. That they were useless, but then eventually she I think she's kind of coming around to the idea of like, I just don't want any of them to die anymore, which is why she's willing to go so far to stop Aki from using his sword, which he said would 100% solve the situation at the cost of his life, but she thinks that he has too much to live for, so she actively tries to stop him, which I think is a good dynamic here. It's of all good character stuff in this tiny episode. Where... Not a lot of action happens. It's all a lot of, like, thinking and character-motivated stuff, I'd say. Yeah, I so. think that's a good... Yeah, and it ends with the the realization that I'm gonna kill this guy, I'm gonna hurt this guy so bad he's gonna want to kill himself, which is uh-huh. a great... I love the shit-eating grin on Denji's face when he says it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's really fantastic. So, yeah, that's how I feel about the episode. How about you, Zen? Uh, really good episode quality episode i love the moment where aki gets stabbed and i like powers little like ah, no one's gonna cook me food if i let this guy die <laughs> moment. uh i love yeah. denji's whole plan at the end uh really really good really good episode powers yeah. whole thing about becoming the prime minister and her evil plan is instituting a 100 percent sales tax <laughs> really good it is really good yeah a lot of man it's so great when the series you like gets a good adaptation. I know. 
<laughs> so nice. It really is. I'm more every episode. I'm just like enjoying seeing it and seeing the stuff kind of be brought up, and it's been fucking great. <laughs> There's nothing more you could ask for year to year. This makes me feel like I really should just watch Jujutsu Kaisen because I know that that's also that also got an extremely good. good anime yep. and it's movie really as well. <sighs> Maybe one day for the show. We'll get to it eventually. I mean, that season two is coming around sometime next year, right? Uh, yeah. 2023 for season right. two. Before then, we'll have to figure out some way for me to <laughs> to quickly knock that out. It's only like 24 episodes, right? Uh, that sounds right. Yeah, 24 episodes and a movie. Yes. Well, zero is different. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, but... Are you going to tell me that we're not going to see the movie just because it's slightly different from? Well, not, that, it, not that it's different as much as uh, it's it's like pre-events. Yeah, it's the thing that I never read, actually. It's the thing that was came before Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Yeah. I was the one of the people who was very confused when the character showed up. Because I was like, I don't remember you. <laughs> I, when did you... <laughs> oh, when, when everyone was hyped that Yuta was coming back? Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> when the fuck did this guy show up? Was he, I thought he was one of the characters in the chapter that I just never was able to read. Because I read uh, Jujutsu Kaisen so weirdly where it was like a dude trying to read it. Trying to... <laughs> back when it was like the Shonen Jump app was missing like uh, 30 chapters and a singular dude was translating Jujutsu Kaisen and he gave up because he's like, fuck this series. I hate explaining this so much. <laughs> Yeah, before they finished putting it all on the app, when it was like in that weird, yeah, the weird quasi state where it was like yeah. half there, half not. Yes, exactly. So, man, good adaptations on Shonen Jump stuff. You love to see it, and I we love to talk about it. So that is it for a Chainsaw Man. We'll be back in two weeks to talk about the next two episodes. Can't wait. Seven and eight, and then there's only twelve episodes. 12, yeah. And there's no way they're finishing all of <laughs> all of it. Do you actually think oh God, that? No, not even close. No. Do you think that they're gonna do the thing they did with Demon Slayer and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, where they're gonna make a specific arc into a, a movie? Into a movie, uh, maybe the Hell arc or Rees, but I don't think so. Mm. I'd be interested about it because it seems like that's what they're kind of doing with their newer stuff. The, yeah, kind of kinda the all doing that these days. Yeah. The one that there's definitely money in it for sure. Goddamn! Apparently, as I was telling D Free uh, yesterday, for for the fourteen for fourteen weeks, uh, for the fourteenth week when it was released, uh, One Piece film Red was number one in the box office for thirteen of them. Uh huh. Yeah, and people be loving the anime movies. They do, and I be loving them too. This shit's awesome seeing it in theaters as well. It's a little, it's a different, completely different experience when compared to. A computer screen or even a TV. Even though I don't watch mine on a TV, I watch mine on a computer screen. So it ends up being a different experience. But anyway, I'm trailing on. As always, you can find Zen over on his channel where he does a Shonen and Chill with the Ocean Man. Where he talks about the interest, <laughs> the ones that you guys are specifically reading in Shonen Jump <laughs> Weekly Shonen yeah, Jump. Over in Shonen Jump, we like. <laughs> yeah. It's what we talk about on that show. You won't hear anything about uh, Black Clover, I assume. <laughs> There's no, zero. You sure won't. No, none. Not, not a ziggle. <laughs> not a peep. Nothing. No. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. Sure. There's a part of me that really wants to get into uh, Black Clover just to really confuse the very few people that follow me <laughs> that hate Black Clover. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them for a loop. Sometimes you got to do yeah. it. Sometimes you gotta zig when they expect you to zag, Zen. Exactly. Just like in episode six, when everyone was expecting a Naruto moment and they went in the opposite direction <laughs> of a dance. Yes, yes, you know, that was the perfect time to hit them with a Naruto moment, and then they didn't. No. And that's Very, how you know they care. That's when you know they studied the the school of arts of <laughs> Naruto and the writing of it. I once said <laughs> that me and me and two of the other members of the BB Force, if we joined forces, we would be able to make one Kishimoto. <laughs> 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 but that's neither here nor there. Uh, you can find me on my channel where we, I talk, where I play a lot of card games now. Actually, <laughs> funny enough, how it is, we're in a renaissance of card game shit now, especially since. Uh, 
Master Duel's out there, and Pokemon TCG Online is functioning again after updating their ad, updating their thing after ten years. <laughs> so it's a brand new looking Jesus. thing. Yeah, apparently it was like TC- yeah TCG Online is over ten years old, and this new one, which everyone's going to be have to transfer over TCG Live, is the I guess the thing we're going to have for the next ten years, which sounds just as fucking crazy as anything else. Um, but also do for going anything that else that ca- catches my attention, and you can continue seeing Shonen Archive. Hopefully next week we'll see what we can do. It is Thanksgiving, but we will. We will figure it out. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll play it by ear, huh? I bet that makes a little bit more sense. If it's not here, then we'll see you in two weeks again to talk more Chainsaw Man, for sure. Yeah, at the very least. Yeah, at the very least. God, please. Why did you... Oh, fuck. Why did they have to follow up that arc with something so bad? Yeah, it's so bad, dude. It's genuinely, like, miserable. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Great. So until next... Oh, and also... We're gonna start. I'm gonna make start making the plans. I'm gonna have to start making the cutoff dates to the first annual uh, Shonen Archive Awards, in which me and Zen will debate. Obviously, curated awards made by me over the various anime that we've watched for the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, firmly sorted awards. Yes, if you're interested to hear, I think I have the archive. Award, uh, sh- uh, let me see if I can find the word file. Show it an archive. Award. There it is. The hyper specific awards that we've got so far and more to be included include best episode of the year, worst episode of the year, elemental hero avion destruction of the year, <laughs> OP of the year, ED of the year, song of the year, and then I'm also going to have to include fucking because of Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man ED of the year. Also good. <laughs> Moment of the year, uh, which includes one of my favorite here, which I've written down, Piccolo beats the shit out of Pan. Uh, best <laughs> best reoccurring bit, which is, I really want to give Gintama an award. Uh, best character, worst character, and arc, and many more things to come. It's going to be a silly good time that I'm sure someone will take seriously when we don't give, like, moment of the year to <laughs> the, the thing they want or something. But it's going to be a silly time. I figure it'd be a good way to kind of look back at the stuff we've seen this year and talk about some stuff again. So look forward to that. Yeah. That will hopefully be sometime That'll be in good. December. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Me and you can really run with a concept. Trust me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, everyone. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next Shonen Archive. I did a little pep in my step fist raise up to let you all know. <laughs> There's no cam on this, but I have to tell you this because I actually legitimately do weird hand motions while recording with Zedrod. And it, now, we gotta get into the, you know, into the spirit. You do, man. And sometimes I gotta give a little, like, yeah! <laughs> Put your fist up. Till next time, everyone. We'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye, Zed. Goodbye, everybody.